<laughs> Look at what came in the mail today. Yeah. So, my brother Phil uh, was able to get a copy of this magazine where the article is from. And. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sheesh. Holy fucking shit. It's really weird to see those pictures IRL now because even if this is from 93, uh, the picture quality is fucking insane. 18 pages special Camaro, 1966 to 1993. I don't know why those numbers are there. Pretty sure it's because of the whole history. I don't know. And also the magazine is about a 59 Ford Ranchero. That's so fucking nice. Okay, first time opening it. Let's see. Oh boy. I mean, look, even back then you had like local selling uh, ads where people were like, I don't know, I'm selling a, a differential cover, um, 62 Deutsche Mark, which would be 31 euros. Or like a fucking Edelbrock carburetor, or a complete exhaust, I don't fucking know, or even complete engines. And if we look back here, we have some chapters. And this indicates that it's on page 14. And this checks out with special for Camaros. That is fucking sick. Holy shit. Back to the rod roots. <laughs> okay, so there's a whole article about a particular hot rod. 6,000 pounds in 1993. 6,000. Like, okay. Oh, okay. That is fucking cool fuck is it so this was i think a cooperation between the company power parts and the hot car magazine itself because you could order just brand new parts from them and they would get them from the states man the prices that's fucking nothing compared to today holy shit Ooh, the ranchero chapter that's very nice too bad i don't like fords oh fuck another ford chapter <laughs> Oh, now we get to the good stuff. Only poor man's Corvette. The Camaro Erfolgsstory. Those are some nice pictures. Like, I wonder where this car is today. This uh, this third gen pace car. Oh, holy fucking shit. There is a ton more on the Camaro topic. So basically, the entry of my car in this magazine was part of a fucking Camaro special. It's a first generation. I'm gonna read that later when I have a time. And this is supposed to be, I think, the fourth generation. This one down here as well. And oh, damn. Holy shit. That is fucking nuts. Like, wow. The picture quality compared to like, the fucking photographs. That is fucking awesome. I wonder, I've, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here it says, Wir nehmen Abschied, which would translate to, we say goodbye. But why is it right here? I don't fucking know. I have to ask Frank about this. Oh my god. Oh, that is so fucking sick. Holy shit. Chevy V8. Corvette's heads. Yeah. I have no idea what the fuck the engine looked like. My fucking god. <laughs> I don't know if I would call this amazing. It's so weird. Okay, so here's a 66 Camaro with its own article. Another special German car. It doesn't look like it has special paint or something. Except maybe the stripes up here. Um, holy shit. I have to work through that whole magazine. The Camaro special is fucking huge. There are some third gens. Look guys, here's even a local Camaro club. Two local Camaro clubs. A Camaro club Germany in Frankfurt. And damn, look, this magazine comes from a time where the zip codes only had four numbers here in Germany. Today they have five. And Camaro club Belgium in the Netherlands. 
Why would it be in the Netherlands if it was in Belgium? I don't know. Fucking, fucking weird, man. KTS American Parts. Damn, that was so fucking cool back then, I bet. I mean, this was normal to the people here, to be exact. The cars here in Germany back then were never seen as great cars, particularly. Uh, so it was just a normal fucking car. Damn, those prizes, let me check. Like, right here, Camaro from 1978 with a 5.0 V8, I would guess, and it's 4.9, but what the fuck is that? Uh, price, 11,800 Deutsche Mark which would be, again, without inflation, 5,900 euros, if I did my math correctly. And there is even a Trans Am up here, uh, which has fender flares, apparently, because it says bright. Uh, damn, 40 centimeters, <laughs> it's just fucking white, man. Uh, <laughs> there is no price on this, that's a shame. Oh, but down here is a price. Pontiac Trans Am with the 400 uh v8 6.6 liter for 7800 deutsche mark which would be uh fuck. which would be in today's money 3900 euros if i did my math correctly again it's fucking insane that is nothing i mean the condition at the time back then uh was something else compared to today Whoa, what the fuck look at this there is another camaro show car with airbrush on here let me guess, Frank painted that as well, what the fuck? And if you and if you look here, uh, there's an estimate about 50,000 Deutsche Mark, which would be 25,000 euros today. At this time in 1993, this is fucking cool, man. Damn, these cars, so unreal to just see this many cars uh, that I fucking love just for prizes at this time so fucking weird oh wait what, what was that drag racing come and see the power yeah i bet frank did this one as well <laughs> dragster camaro okay <laughs> there was there are so many camaros <laughs> what, what why what the fuck is that a hot rod ford model t oh damn that's fucking cool holy shit this is fucking amazing yeah and crazy mailbox what the fuck is that i guess this company has been dead for a long time whoa what the fuck this is so thick i have to go through that with time like what <laughs> okay uh okay damn it's fucking cool okay yeah i guess this is the end this would be the teaser for the next magazine uh yeah Oh fuck, uh, okay, yeah, Germany was fucking weird back then. Huge shout out to my brother for sending this to me because I wasn't fast enough. And when I posted the first video on this, it was just sold out everywhere. It's fucking weird what influence this had on the, well, German Craigslist market. <laughs> if you're looking to get any magazines or cars that are rare or something, just text my brother, he will find it.